To receive bitcoins, we first need to have a wallet to receive them. To send bitcoins, you will need to have bitcoins in a wallet. This number down here lets me know how many bitcoins I have in my wallets to spend. For this tutorial, I will show how this works from both sides, sending and receiving, by transferring some bitcoins between two of my wallets. I have three wallets, but only one with bitcoins. I am going to move some bitcoins from the long-term spending wallet to the fund spending wallet. To receive bitcoins, click here and choose which wallet will receive the bitcoins. This wallet will now generate an address to receive the coins. This will be used by whoever is sending you the bitcoins. You can get it to them in a number of ways, copied into an email, as a link on a web page, or if you scan this QR code, you can then send it as a text message. If you add information to this label, it will appear in the Transactions section of Armory for any relevant transactions that occur. This address can also be sent to multiple people. Each can then deposit Bitcoin securely. The only caveat is that they will be able to see the total amount sent to this address, not just what they sent. I am just going to copy this address to the clipboard for the moment. So now I can click on Send Bitcoins, and then select which wallet I want to send from, the only one in this case that has bitcoins. Paste the address of where I am sending these coins. Note you could have received this address in a number of ways, as a link on a web page, within an email or SMS message, or on a printed document or QR code. Enter the amount of bitcoins to send. In this case, I am going to send 0.5 bitcoins. If you look down the bottom here, there is the fee automatically set to 0.0001 bitcoins. Fees go to users that contribute computing power to keep the Bitcoin network secure. It also increases the priority of your transactions so they can confirm faster. 0.0001 is standard, however the default amount can be adjusted under settings. Click send and we see that I will be sending 0.5 bitcoins to the fund spending wallet, but 0.5001 will be coming out of the long-term savings wallet, which covers the fee. After you have checked this is correct, click send. You will need to enter the passphrase for the wallet sending the coins, and then you are done. We can see in the transaction section that 0.5001 have been sent, and 0.5 have been received. This transaction has not been confirmed by the network yet, so our spendable funds are not at the maximum yet. It will take a little while for this to occur, so I will pause the video and come back a little later. Here we are a few minutes later, and I have received more than enough confirmations to be confident that this transaction is now complete. And so does Armory, as my spendable funds now match what I have in my wallet.